Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Beloved people, the Lord Jehovah today spoke with me about the mighty, mighty revival meeting coming up in Mozambique, in Maputo. Uh, in that conversation, the Lord brought me to the healing service, and I saw that when the Lord brought his servant, he brought me to the healing service, and then there are these little babies that stood up and were healed. You can see a tremendous visitation is going to take place in the next few days as I head to Mozambique. The Lord is going to bring a tremendous visitation of revival, and the message is now more clearer than has been ever before, that the heavens and the kingdom of God treasures repentance, and Jehovah, the God the Father, Jehovah Yahweh, he really, really treasures righteousness and holiness because of what we have seen, the great signs and wonders he has placed around his servant. But, beloved people, this is a critical time in the history of the church. The Lord has shown me a big, big revival in Mozambique, a tremendous revival, a very powerful visitation that will take place there, even as we now leave. We are beginning to make our journey towards Mozambique now. But uh, he's shown me a big visitation. The heavenly emissary and envoys, heavenly hosts are now training. They are focused on Maputo, Mozambique, to deliver the agenda of the Lord for this hour in the church in that land. And this is a tremendous, beautiful time, a powerful time to be born again and to be a Christian because this is the hour when the Lord is now coming out openly to ascertain, to assure and affirm that, yes, indeed, only the God of the cross, the God that sent us Christ Jesus to the cross, the God, Jehovah, the God of Israel, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, only he alone is God and can bring man to heaven. Again, I've seen a big, big healing service that will take place in Mozambique. It's not the first time now. It's many times now the Lord has been speaking to me about that visitation coming to Mozambique. And it will be a refreshing time because they are going to hear directly from the throne of God, from God the Father. God the Father himself regarding his agenda for the church at this critical hour. And they will hear the tremendous denunciation, denouncing of sin, denunciation of sin, the rebuke of sin and the establishing of righteousness and holiness at the pulpit, at the altar, at the center of the Christian worship experience. This is the restoration of the church that uh, was spoken about that will come at this time. The gospel of the blood and the cross that was long promised would be revived again. And this is a tremendous hour. This is the heavenly hour, the hour when we are sitting in between between two dispensations, we are within the interdispensational space when this hour is shifting and we are sitting on the verge to eternity. This is a very beautiful and powerful time to be born again, to be serving God, to be righteous, to be holy, to embrace repentance and the turning away from sin. This has also proved all the other teachers you've seen all in the American Christian TV where global TV is preaching other Gospels far removed from righteousness. It has proved them wrong. The Lord has come out openly to help his people by showing them which is the way, showing them which way leads to heaven, not the Gospel prosperity you see them doing in the U.S. and Europe and everywhere across Africa. Nigeria is at the center of it all. The Lord has now proved them wrong and flushed them down all, all. And actually warned them that you continue that way, you don't see the glorious eternal kingdom of God. For without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. However, this announcing of a big revival coming to Maputo, Mozambique, comes at such a time, beloved people, a very powerful time when the Lord has finally now released, he has shown the stairs of heaven. The glorious stairs have been announcing since January 15th the year 2017. And remember, these stairs appear at the same time the church is walking on. You don't know. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. It could be five minutes from now. The Bible says nobody knows the day or the hour. But now the Lord has proved to all 
that what he says through his servant is exactly accurate and it is his word and will be fulfilled. So even the church that walk on those stairs will walk. Now we are in a very powerful revival time when God has opened heaven and he has now lowered the stairs of heaven and made them as glorious as heaven is. So now the saints can prepare to walk there. Even the Hindus and the Muslims and the atheists, whoever will see the church going to heaven, they will receive Jesus and now they will also aspire and strive to enter eternity. They will also get to enter. So this is the moment where any and all religions must now surrender to the religion of Christ Jesus who died on the cross and receive him and enter. Because now the Lord has made it very clear to all nations that only the religion of the cross, Christianity, Christ followers, will enter heaven. There is only one way to heaven. And it's a powerful moment, beloved people. This eternal kingdom of God, the heaven that you are seeing, already now open, is for all nations, for all people that uphold righteousness and holiness. May the Lord bless you as we leave to Mozambique. And I bless the nation of Mozambique. But as the Lord brings me there, may you embrace your hour of visitation. That you too may see the greater wonders of the hour and prepare for the eternal glorious kingdom of God, the everlasting kingdom of God. Remember that after one trillion years are over when you are in heaven. In other words, when you enter heaven and you stay there for one trillion years, eternity has not yet begun. So it's always worthy to invest in eternity. It is worthy to turn away from sexual sin, turn away from immorality, the new dressing of women, the liars, the false prophets you see in America. If you listen to them, you will not enter heaven. The Bible says, like sheep and like sheep, I will judge them both. You cannot sit in their audience and listen to them and subscribe to it. The worshiping of Jesus was established. The worshiping of the Lord, God the Father, was established. It's a worship in purity, and the Holy Spirit has come to enhance that. So we cannot show disobedience. Make sure that you turn away from the false apostles you see all over the world, Europe, Australia, everywhere. You see in Africa, here, Nigeria is number one, full of false prophets, and they're preaching money and corruption and lies and all these kind of things and calling people left and right. Stay away from that. All these false apostles, false prophets, false evangelists, now you can turn away from them and seek righteousness. Why? Because heaven has helped you. The Lord has done the unthinkable. He has glimpsed. He has opened the glimpse so we can now see part of heaven. We can see the glorious chairs of heaven. Everybody will now long to enter heaven. When he brought his two witnesses into that glorious meeting, then a tremendous moment, behold, he lowered the open heaven and he presents the glorious chairs of heaven. This is an awesome time in the history of the church for the first time, not in a vision, but captured on camera. So even as we go for the big revival in Mozambique, let all the nations behold and partake of this greatest hour and moment in the church. The Lord bless you. I have seen the Messiah coming. This is the one about whom it was written that you would send a prophet. He would send the mightiest prophet that would come and turn the hearts of the children back to their fathers, and of the fathers back to their children, and of the nations back to the Father in heaven, lest he strike the nations with a cut. The Messiah is coming. I have seen the coming of the Messiah, beloved people. May the Lord help you. Shalom Todah.